charging. We just need to be really conscientious of that. You know, we're all here to make a penny, so let's just make sure we get, get the appropriate amount of pennies to take home. Also, marketing. We want to make sure that we can advertise and market those products, make sure we get the message out to the consumer that we have the right brands at the right price to service your needs. Selling. This is the largest component of category management that most of you may not expect. And that's because within category management, we need to think about every person that's going to be looking at this product and making sure that they understand the benefit and the value of it, that they see that there's a return on investment in their time with their money as well um, to make sure that we communicate that message effectively. And that's really where the selling component comes in. So our key relationships involve our vendors and suppliers, sales and customer service, and inventory planning within our own group. Above and beyond these key relationships, though, <coughs> we need to focus on the consumer while prioritizing our customers. This is kind of our two-step distribution model. Um, you know, this is my version of a two-step. It's keeping my eye on both the customer, which is our retailer, and also the consumers as well. We need to sell it to both to our retail owners, our store location owners, um, and they need to then be able to sell it through to the consumers as well. We have a team of five category managers currently working under the guidance of Andrew Pantavitas, who's our hardware procurement merchandising manager. Uh, and there's, there's been uh, obviously a lot of structural organizational changes going on within Timber Mark Shell for recently. And we've recently been realigned to go back and work under uh, Randy Martin as the uh, now the VP of business development. Uh, the Timber Mark Group has identified that business development really should include merchandising and um, you know, your category management team as well, because we are heavily involved in the selling process. Um, so they wanted to realign it and have done so accordingly. However, and the reason why I've kind of split this out is to identify that there is another kind of procurement arm within our division, which is on the operations side um, and with our inventory planning group. So Brett Walters, who's the general manager for Shell for Canada, manages our inventory planning supervisor and her team. Um, those are the guys that are placing the purchase orders, speaking with your customer service desk representatives, and it's uh, very important that you know who those players are as well. What does the vendor need to do to get a meeting? Um, lots of different formats. Um, you know, first and foremost, Shell 4 and Tim Bart are a member within the Span Can Buying Group. It is the largest hardware buying group in Canada. And uh, a majority of the categories that we feature and carry and stock in Shell for DC are categories that are reviewed by the Scan Can committees. And I'm going to speak a little bit more about Scan Can in a couple slides. Obviously, there's the traditional for us phone and email, always great methods to communicate with your buyers. Um, come to trade shows, we try to get out to as many shows and networking events as we can as well. Um, you see a four leaf clover there, sometimes it takes a little bit of luck, and it is all about timing. Um, I recently had a vendor in last week. Just really a case of perfect timing. I told you I recently acquired the Housewares category, very small category, it's considered a secondary category within our stocking assortment at Shalafor. But I was looking at a December flyer for our Ace banner and I had two pages of Housewares products to fill. Going, I have no idea what I'm going to put in here. Lo and behold, my phone rings and it's a new Housewares vendor that's coming up into Canada with some really new and exciting products. So we're, he just really stumbled on having an incredible timing as to when that phone rang. And he wanted to pitch his products to me. And the next one that I really want you guys to focus on is relevance. And it's talking about, you know, is this a problem solver? Is this going to help the retailer? Is it going to help our consumer? Um, does it resonate? Does it make them feel good? Kind of talking about what Bob was talking about earlier. Um, does it bring them closer to their goals? Does it arouse their curiosity? Does it kind of, does it tug at you at all when you're looking at this? Um, you really need to make sure that what you're bringing to the table is a relevant product and a relevant program. 